It is 716 right now on your Thursday morning. It is time for today's Upside, everyone. Today we're highlighting Mike Burns. He's an early learning principal with Questar 3 BOCES. He's also the author, though, of Nervous Rex. It's a children's book about dealing with anxiety and stress that we feel. So he's writing these children books centered around mental health strategies, and he has tons of experience. I want to welcome Mike Burns to the studio. Thanks for joining us, yeah, Mike. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. So I want to talk a little bit about your history and your experience with especially elementary school students. How have you seen this boost in anxiety appear throughout the past couple of years? Um, so I've been in education for about 20 years. I taught elementary school in Voorheesville for 15 years wow. before jumping into administration. So I've, I've, I've been through K-12, now I'm working with the little ones in <laughs> pre-K, and you know, especially through COVID, um, I think everyone in education has seen an uptick in, you know, mental health, especially anxiety, um, not only in little kids, but, you know, teenagers, even, even adults. And really, those numbers are, they're pretty startling. I just want to mention how bad it is at this point. The CDC says 9.4% of kids 3 to 17 years old have even been diagnosed with anxiety at this point. So this is really a big issue. And how are you seeing that present itself in our kids? What do they look like when they have this anxiety, Mike? I think um, sometimes you don't even realize that it's anxiety. Mm -hmm. It could be a stomach ache. Sure. It could just be that they're having a really hard time sleeping at night. Um, sometimes it's anger right. that, you know, as adults, we don't even realize that, you know, our, our youngest kids, even teenagers, they're anxious or they're worried mm -hmm. and they don't understand that either. So I think, you know, with the book, the idea was to give, you know, kids, teenagers, adults, just strategies to help them cope with anxiety. Why did you choose this particular character? I think it's so cute. It's a T-Rex. Yeah. You know, um, I've always loved dinosaurs, even yeah. as a little kid anyways, but it, it really started, it was during COVID, and my daughter, Lily, she said, she's like, Dad, will you draw with me? Oh. So I was like, yeah, sure. I was like, um, what do you want to draw? She said, draw a dinosaur. So I drew a dinosaur, not this one. Mine <laughs> does not look like this at all. And as I was doing it, I looked at her, and she looked nervous to me. Mm. And I said, um, are you nervous? And I'm drawing, and I looked, I got like a little nervous Rex. And oh. I, went, I was like, nervous Rex? I'm like, that's a good idea. So I just started writing as much as I could, uh, not thinking. It would turn into an It would turn book. into this. Um, wow. And that was, kind of, that was kind of it. And this book is interesting in the sense that you mentioned this, giving people some strategies. Before we go to break, can you tell us one of those? Yeah, um, and my daughter tells me this sometimes too when she sees it in me. Uh, stop, so slow down and pause, mm. take deep breaths, observe what's happening, proceed to what's next, um, and just giving you know, kids a strategy to slow down, be mindful of their breathing, mm -hmm. take some deep breaths, and then just, all right, carry on. This book has also got to be great for parents, so if you're reading this at bedtime, I think we could all use this as well. Yes, I, th <laughs> I think we could all use it. It's not just for kids. So how can people get a hold of the book, Mike? Um, go? It's in area bookstores, uh, Bookhouse in Stuyvesant Plaza, Amazon. Um, I'm sure if you Google it, you can find it. I get pictures from all over the country with ah. parents sending me photos with their kids that have it. I have no idea how they got it, but wow. it's great to see. Touching a lot of lives. Thanks so much for coming here today, Yeah, Mike. thank you. Appreciate it.